Yo, what just, what just happened there? Anyway, so back in the late 2000s, video sharing was this great, new, revolutionary thing, allowing people to connect and share content in a way never seen before. It opened doors to hobbyist filmmakers, musicians, animators, and really just anyone. Before, you had to bow down to the big boys over in Hollywood, risk everything, and probably join Scientology. But more importantly, it was a new teaching tool, allowing people to learn things through video and audio, rather than having to read a 500-page book or having to attend classes. But because such a useful tool was given to everyone, well, there's gonna be a lot of trash. A lot of trash. I mean, you all know the feeling. You're playing some Vore-related game on Roblox and some guy is starting to get on your nerves. So you're like, yo, well, screw this guy, how about I just hack his account? So you hop on YouTube, click the first result that has no virus in the title, then you'll be met with some variation of the same video. Usually, the video will introduce with some variation of the Windows Movie Maker intro template. You know, the one with the blue background. The music in the video would be one of the following. It could be this one, this one, this one, maybe this one, and if the creator was feeling a bit more creative that day, maybe even this one. The most common one you'll see, and in my opinion the best one, is the one that goes. This song is like the purest form of nostalgia. My memories of my school and family back then are a distant blur. But blast some of that dreamscape and I'll suddenly wake up like a sleeper agent. But with the knowledge of GTA San Andreas money glitches. Here's a fun little fact. The reason that the song is used so much is because it was at the top of YouTube's audio library. And when you have a bunch of 13 year olds dropping their favorite Evanescence song on their Halo 3 tutorials, there are gonna be some copyright issues. So either the video gets muted, or you're gonna hear. Another staple of these old tutorials was Unregistered Hypercam 2. You know him. He's a great guy, has a nice family, he'll give you a loan if you're going through a tough time. Other than helping out at the neighborhood barbecue, he also appears at the top right of every tutorial video. It's either him, or his brother Bandicam. Or sometimes both. Which, I don't know how that's even possible. But going deeper into this rabbit hole of Hypercam 2, there's a 2008 tutorial on how to download it, following all the classic video tropes and it's even split into two parts. When I first saw it, I thought it was just the greatest ironic meme video of all time. But then I noticed it was uploaded in 2008, which means this guy with the Family Guy profile picture was a genius who was way ahead of his time, or this is unironic. The common operating system for these videos was Windows XP, sometimes even Vista. Either you'll get the normal default wallpaper, or sometimes a low-quality image of an early 2000s band. This combo would also be paired with Internet Explorer and a couple thousand toolbars. You know, Yahoo, Google, Norton, probably look more like the Discord emoji menu rather than a browser. This combination seems pretty bad so far, but if the uploader could give good instructions, it might be able to save the tutorial. But when you're this far deep into a mess of a tutorial, yeah, you're not getting a nice relaxing voiceover. You're getting someone typing in notepad. In most cases, you'll be getting a word a minute. Now the actual content of the tutorial wouldn't be too helpful. Usually they would try to teach you how to glitch the money in a game, get free membership, or download the software. But most of the time you'd get one of the following. An expired link that doesn't go anywhere. A virus. Nine more toolbars. A cheat engine tutorial. Note, sometimes, sometimes this would work. A download manager. A free iPod Nano. But of course you have to take a survey first. How to use inspect element. Something that works? When you did get something that worked, it was magical. I remember glitching the minecart game in Club Penguin. And when I- FBI! Oh god. They're onto me. I gotta get out of here real- real quick. If you wanna Open do this yourself, door. you have to use cheat engine slow- to slow down the- Now that you have your basics down, let's look at a great example of one. Club Penguin Membership Hacker, 2010. This doesn't sound suspicious at all. So we're given a great Windows Movie Maker intro and we got a fairly conservative amount of annotations. Wait, what is this? He seems to be using some advanced technique instead of typing in notepad. He's typing in the program itself. All my years of looking for Club Penguin hacks, it's such a breath of fresh air to see such a pioneer of technique. At the end of the video, he says he'll release the program once he hits 1,050 subs. Considering that it's been 10 years and he's just a little over 900 subs, I don't think we're getting that free Club Penguin membership anytime soon. Wait, what is this? He suddenly returns 10 years later, giving us a beautiful epilogue to this tale of free Club Penguin membership. However, we still never got the link. Anyway, if you liked the video, rate 5 stars, um, subscribe.